Boris Johnson is a British politician, an author who has been the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and the Conservative Party's leader since July 2019. But despite being in politics, he is a car enthusiast who has worked as an automotive journalist and appeared on Top Gear twice. But you'd never guess it based on the cars he's been seen driving and owning. With a net worth of $2 million, he has a diverse collection of automobiles. While he's had access to various high-end vehicles, his fleet has been much more modest. But how rare are they? How much did they cost? And what levels of luxury do they provide? Well, let's find out. But first, please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Jaguar XJ Sentinel Saloons The prime ministerial car is a fleet of armor-plated Jaguar XJ Sentinel Saloons that serve as the Prime Minister's official vehicle. The new XJ Sentinel is practically indistinguishable from a conventional XJ model. Still, it comes equipped with a state-of-the-art armoring technology that gives occupants up to be seven levels of ballistic protection. They're built to withstand explosives and gunfire, just like the Prime Minister's Range Rover Sentinel versions, which are meant to withstand high-velocity rifle fire and large explosions. The XJ Sentinel has a purpose-built armoring system that has been carefully created to ensure that the vehicle provides excellent occupant protection while being virtually undetectable from the outside. The XJ Sentinel's complete occupant protection has not been achieved at the price of comfort or practicality. Jaguar engineers have guaranteed that the armored variant keeps the same exquisite elegance and practicality as the standard model. The cabin's sophisticated and contemporary design surrounds passengers with finely crafted leather and veneer surfaces, offering a supremely soothing, comfortable, and luxurious experience. The Sentinel is based on the XJ Saloon and is powered by a smooth and responsive 5.0-liter 385 PS AJV8 Gen 3 naturally aspirated direct injection V8 petrol engine made it to a six-speed automated transmission. The XJ Sentinel's powerful and intelligent powertrain ensures quick and nimble performance, going from 0 to 100 km per hour in 9.7 seconds and reaching a top speed of 195 km per hour. Range Rover Sentinel Armored Government Cars The Armored Sentinel, designed and manufactured by Land Rover Special Vehicle Operations and built at the SV Technical Center in Warwickshire, offers unrivaled occupant security and world-class luxury. A protective cell is at its heart, developed to strict full vehicle standards and with complete ballistic and blast certification. The new Sentinel retains Range Rover's unrivaled refinement, with more cabin space, increased headroom, and best seats over the previous version. This provides occupants with comprehensive security, while on the move, and world-class comfort. The inside also includes two 10-inch high-resolution touch screens from Land Rover's Touch Pro Dual Infotainment System. The strengthened body is designed to withstand current and non-traditional attacks, such as fragmentation explosions from improvised explosive devices. It has a 280 kilohertz 5.0-liter supercharged V8 petrol engine that boosts power by 30 kilohertz over the previous V6 petrol engine, ensuring the armored SUV maintains remarkable Range Rover performance in all terrains. Sentinel will travel from 0 to 100 km per hour in 10.4 seconds, with a top speed of 193 km per hour. Toyota Previa According to The Sun, Boris Johnson's Toyota Previa is one of his most famous cars, which he kept in a disorganized state, even if it were in fantastic shape and had minimal mileage. His 1995 Previa would be worth less than $2,000 in today's market. The top-of-the-line, low's capacious interior was lavishly appointed. Seven passenger seats with front bucket seats, split folding back seats, dual air conditioners, power windows, side mirrors, locks, several cup holders, and cruise control are all standard features. Other features available include a privacy glass, a security package, an excellent premium nine-speaker sound system with AM, FM, CD, and cassette, and the second row of swivel captain's chairs. The interior configurations are adaptable, ranging from 7 people and 32 cubic feet of freight space to 2 passengers and 152 cubic feet. In hot weather, the dual air conditioner performs well, and the entire seating configuration allows everyone except the driver to swap positions without stopping. The Privia has excellent road manners and handles like a passenger vehicle for a considerable minivan.
The all-track system provides excellent traction on various road surfaces and in all weather conditions, while four-wheel vented disc anti-lock brakes provide safe stopping. The Previa isn't the most fuel-efficient or ecologically friendly vehicle, with a 2.4-liter petrol engine. If it were to be utilized in London Zoo lives, it would be subject to exorbitant fees. Even back then, this Toyota was regarded as slow. Its enormous engine only produces 135 horsepower, which isn't much for a fully loaded minivan. Citroen AX The Citroen AX is a stylish little French supermini manufactured from 1986 to 1998. Citroen first released the AX in 1986 as a replacement for the Visa model, which was updated in 1991. Peugeot began cutting expenditures and reducing allowances for its new family member after purchasing the Citroen brand. As a result, the Visa's boxer engines were no longer available, and a new vehicle was required to replace them. It debuted the AX in 1986 and was substantially revised in late 1991. The Citroen AX was available with three or five doors. The latter was primarily targeted at young families. It was an ideal city vehicle due to its tiny footprint and sharp appearance. It was a popular choice due to its unique, angular form, nimble handling, and fuel-efficient engines. Over 2 million were sold. It was, however, an unusual car for a minister to own, and it was noticeable when parked outside the foreign secretary's official residence. The prime minister's ancient Citroën would only be worth a few hundred dollars if it were still running. Nissan Leaf Boris Johnson was loaned a Nissan Leaf for a month as mayor of London as part of the city's electric car program. The Nissan Leaf was perhaps the first mainstream electric vehicle, and its range of over 100 miles, astonishing at the time, made it practical for many London families. Boris Johnson noted at the time that zero-emission electric cars were ideal for city driving, not only because they provide lower day-to-day -day operating expenses for their owners, but also because they help to reduce pollution levels. While parts of the plastics covering the dashboard and doors look cheap, and several of the switches lack flair, the inside feels exceptionally well put together. The standard Leaf has a 148 bhp electric motor powered by a 40 kilowatts per hour battery, while the long-range Leaf E Plus has a 214 bhp electric engine powered by a 62 kilowatts per hour battery. The electric motors are incredibly smooth and responsive when in use. It's enough to send the ordinary car from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.9 seconds, which is probably considerably faster than most people imagine an electric vehicle can travel, while the Leaf E Plus is 6 tenths faster at 7.3 seconds. Tesla Roadster It was built in the Lotus facility in Norfolk and was one of the first desirable electric automobiles. Boris Johnson, a former automobile journalist, was one of the first to drive the car when it was first released during a climate change event in 2009. While his high-profile support was undoubtedly valuable to the then-nascent company, the Tesla Roadster is best known for something else. Elon Musk's Roadster was launched into space as a dummy cargo for the Falcon Heavy rocket project in 2018. The Tesla Roadster's cabin encourages comfort and safety, with several safety features and a delightful driving experience. Some of its safety features include adaptive cruise control with a semi-autonomous driving mode, lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, and automated emergency braking with pedestrian recognition. Unfortunately, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa are not among the components and opulent options available for the Roadster. Like the rest of its amenities, the car's infotainment is sparse. However, Tesla is expected to include an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot and a variety of visual entertainment apps. Nevertheless, the Roadster Sport has 288 horsepower, compared to the standard Roadster's 248 horsepower. Both engines are linked to a single-speed fixed-gear transmission and rev to 14,000 RPM. And according to Tesla, the car can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. And it's a wrap. Which car do you consider to be the most absurd? Comment below and let's engage. Also, for more exciting luxurious car videos, please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Goodbye.